When it comes to state and local governments that have been having such a difficult time budgetarily through this pandemic, it looks like they're going to have to do potentially major cuts, particularly uh, unless the federal government gives stimulus help to them specifically. Uh, Republicans seem hesitant to do that. What do you think happens? Well, again, as you've heard about a thousand times tonight, it's still too early to say. Uh, certainly one of the major um, bones of contention as they were trying to negotiate this last recovery package was Republicans felt strongly that a lot of this money was geared towards um, saving blue states that had committed fiscal <laughs> irresponsibility prior to COVID. So that was their view. And in addition, they looked at some of the money that was already in the pipeline. They wanted to see more. And frankly, some are starting to hit a kind of a gag reflex mm. uh, on the national debt. So I, I would say once again that if there is a blue sweep, and I must admit that a number of these states are a little bit more closer than I thought. Maybe Democrats thought they had a chance at taking out either Senator Graham in South Carolina, Senator Cornyn in Texas. Right. We know those races, <clears throat> excuse me, have been called for the Republicans. So it, it could be that that blue sweep doesn't materialize, in yeah. which case the, 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 the two or two and a half trillion dollar package that might have a trillion or more for states and localities, yeah. that might not materialize. Might not. Uh, Austin, weigh in on that. We, we obviously don't know the result, probably won't know for, it uh, anytime soon, but th this is an important issue for cities and states. Uh, look, I agree with that. And it's kind of, we took the blue, the blue sweep, it's kind of more the blue dust buster, you know, at this point. And if the Republicans were to retain the Senate, I think Jeb is right. You, you would likely see a totally different composition of, of what the rescue would be. I don't think when we're out of the political sphere, I actually think that this is an area that Democrats and Republicans would probably end up being able to agree on because the red states as well as the blue states are in tough spots. And as long as you tied the money not to what the previous pension obligations or, or whatever were before COVID, if you just tied the amount of relief to what's your population or how many cases you had, right. I, I don't think it would, I, I don't think that it would give as much indigestion perhaps to, to the Republicans. But Austin, but, uh, yeah. I mean, certainly the, the calculus perhaps different than if somebody was looking at the polls who trust those yeah. anymore, I guess, yeah. and, and well, thought I that you might end up with a blue fair. wave, right? Yeah, that's clearly fair. If you look in Ohio, the polling average was Biden was ahead or, or by one point or was around even. It looks like he's losing the state by eight points uh, in Florida, something similar. So the, the polling, so some of those guys are going to be looking for a new job. I mean, that, that's all there is to it.